Signs and symptoms of liver cancer are signals that something might be wrong with the liver. The liver is a part of our body that can get lumps called tumors and sometimes other cancers from different parts of the body can go to the liver. The liver can also get its own kind of cancer called primary liver cancer. It's really important to notice these signs early to help stop the problem or prevent it from getting worse. This video talks about the common things that might show up when there's a problem with the liver. Firstly, when the liver is not working well, it can show signs like yellow skin and eyes, loss of wanting to eat and losing weight for no clear reason. This happens because the liver isn't able to clean and process bad stuff in the body like it should. It's like the tumor is putting pressure on the liver and making it not work right. Secondly, if you feel pain or discomfort in the upper right of your tummy where the liver is, it could mean that a tumor is growing and putting pressure on the nearby parts. This pain is like a signal telling us that there might be a tumor growing. There are things that can make tumor grows in the liver like having a sickness called chronic hepatitis, being around harmful things, or drinking too much alcohol. Knowing these things help us to try stop tumors from going and find good ways to treat them. Now, let's talk about specific situations that can happen with liver cancer. Sometimes, doctors find liver cancer when they are looking for other problems. This is important because it shows that routine checkups are really useful. Another situation is when the liver gets bigger because of the tumor. This can be seen when doctors look at the tummy or use special machines to take pictures inside the body. The third situation is when there's pain in the upper right tummy, which could mean there's bleeding inside from a blood vessel that's broken because of the tumor. Lastly, you'll notice yellow skin and eyes, which is a sign that the liver might be not doing well because of the tumor. These situations help doctors understand what might be going on with the liver. Jaundice, a prominent sign of liver cancer, refers to a yellowish color in the skin and mucous membranes. This happens because cancer disrupts the normal flow of bile in the liver. Bile contains a substance called bilirubin and when cancer interferes with its flow, bilirubin can get trapped and enter the bloodstream. This leads to higher levels of bilirubin in the blood, causing the yellowish tint. The accumulation of excess bilirubin is particularly noticeable in the whites of the eyes, known as solera. Identifying jaundice is crucial for spotting potential liver problems early on. Situation 5 focuses on changes in the color of urine and feces caused by liver cancer's impact on the liver's ability to handle bilirubin. When there's an increase in direct bilirubin, it spills into the bloodstream and is then executed through urine, making it appear darker. On the other hand, if bilirubin can reach its usual pathway to the small intestine, it disrupts the formation of urobilinogen, the substance that gives stools its color. Consequently, feces may become pale, and in cases where there's blockage in the flow of bile, they may even turn white. These alterations in urine and feces color provide important cues for doctors to assess the health and function of the liver. In situation 6, we encounter ascites, a condition commonly seen in liver oncology which is the study of liver cancers. This condition arises because liver cancer messes with something called the portal venous system. This system is like a network of blood vessels that carries blood from the abdominal organs to the liver. When the liver cancer interferes with the system, it causes increased pressure, making fluid escape into the peritoneal cavity, which is the space in our abdomen. This leads to the abdomen swelling up, a sign known as sites. In more severe situations, the accumulated fluid might be acidic and doctors might need to do a medical procedure called drainage to remove this excess fluid. Having too much fluid can cause the diaphragm, a muscle that helps us breathe, to rise up, making it hard for the lungs to expand properly. This can result in difficulty breathing for patients with ascites. As liver cancer progresses, it shows characteristics like jaundice, fever, fatigue, weight loss, and skin rashes. Think of the cancer as a sort of parasite taking away energy from the body's nutritional intake. This causes the tumor cells to multiply quickly, faster than our healthy cells. As these tumor cells break down, they release debris into the bloodstream. This can make the whole body feel sick, leading to fatigue and weight loss. 
The presence of these cell fragments can even cause a mild fever by messing the brain's thermostat, which controls our body's temperature. Recognizing these signs is crucial for understanding how the cancer is affecting the body and guiding appropriate medical care. Furthermore, liver cancer doesn't just affect the liver directly. It also messes up with the liver's ability to detoxify the body and carry out metabolic functions. This disruption can result in noticeable changes in the color of urine and feces. Additionally, skin rashes may develop and the symptoms is often overlooked. These rashes occur because liver cancer affects not only the liver but also the immune and metabolic systems throughout the body. As the cancer advances, there's a possibility that it might find a way to escape the liver. Here are some ways this can happen. Tumor growth and infiltration of neighboring structures. If the tumor becomes quite large, it can infiltrate nearby organs like the gallbladder, bile ducts, and even extend to the diaphragm. This infiltration can cause disruptions leading to symptoms such as persistent hiccups. Next is peritoneal spread and peritonitis. The tumor might break through the protective covering of the liver, known as the capsule, and spread into the peritoneal cavity, the space around abdominal organs. This can result in peritonitis, causing diffuse abdominal pain and potentially leading to bowel obstruction. Next is lymphatic spread and biliary compression. Liver cancer has the potential to spread through the lymphatic system, affecting nearby lymph nodes. This can result in symptoms related to the compression of bile ducts, causing increase in blood and urine bilirubin levels. Next is hematogenous spread to lungs and bones. The cancer also travels to the bloodstream to distant parts of the body such as the lungs and bones. This can lead to symptoms like difficulty breathing, persistent cough, and bone pain. The progression of liver cancer, whether it stays in the liver or spreads to other areas, shows a variety of signs and symptoms. This emphasizes the need for a careful and thorough approach in diagnosing and managing liver cancer. Doctors need to be watchful and consider all aspects to provide the best possible care for patients. In summary, liver cancer exhibits various signs and symptoms that extend beyond the liver's immediate impact. Disruptions in detoxification and metabolic functions result in changes in urine and feces color accompanied by often overlooked skin rashes. As the cancer progresses, it may escape the liver through pathways such as infiltrating neighboring structures, peritoneal spread causing peritonitis, lymphatic spread with bile duct compression, and hematogenous spread to the lungs and bones. This complexity underscores the need for a comprehensive approach in diagnosis and management. Recognizing these diverse symptoms enables healthcare professionals to tailor effective interventions for individuals with liver cancer, emphasizing the importance of early detection and new ones under standing for improved outcomes and enhanced quality of life. And that's it. Thank you for watching this video. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Hit the bell icon for new uploads.